after picking up our comically sized camper van and having an uncomfortable first night, we were ready to begin exploring the Izu Peninsula and find out why van life in Japan is so different to what we expected. We're about to start our road trip in Japan properly now. And obviously with it being such a small van, there is a lot of moving the luggage to the front and the back because there is nowhere else <laughs> to hold it. I am going to be sad to leave this spot and I hopefully we find something better than this because it's amazing. We got Fuji very clearly showing right now. Lovely clear morning. It is 8.30 and we're about to hit the road. salad. I've got chocolate. <laughs> You're pregnant. <laughs> I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> We are about to realize a dream that we had on our very first camper van trip when we were struggling during winter in Scotland to find some showers. When we were there, I just remember us saying time and time again, how good would it be if we were in Japan right now in a van because they have onsens, AKA hot springs everywhere. Right now we have rented a private onsen in the city of Atami. So what you do is you get undressed here and we've got an open air onsen. So as we come outside here, first we have the cleaning area. Once you have scrubbed yourself silly, the next thing is, the best thing, and is why we love doing this, is the hot spring bath, the onsens themselves. So you get yourself clean and then you can bathe in there. And we have got this open air one with the view of the marina and the city. And this is absolutely ridiculous. Who said you had to suffer with van life? us in the last video if you saw that one. <laughs> we're going to enjoy this for the next 30 minutes that we have this onsen to ourselves. Then we're going to go and get, oh there's a nice big bird. <laughs> I was going to say a bird of prey there. <laughs> then we're going to go and get some lovely lunch and continue down the coast to our next stop. After the most beautiful traffic jam we have ever been stuck in, <laughs> that wasn't bad. we have made our way to the Jogasaki coast, which we were hoping to get here a lot earlier, but we've only got about 20 minutes of light left. The good thing is, it turns out that there are toilets here and there's a car park, so we can stay here overnight. Thanks. So this seems like the perfect place to stay tonight. Before we go any further, I just want to show you how cool the public toilet block looks like. Because in England, something like this, Firstly, it would stink of piss, <laughs> and it definitely wouldn't look anywhere near as nice and as clean as this. Well, this is lovely. I'm glad we came at this time of day, actually. It's yeah. the perfect time. Beautiful. Such an interesting coastline as well, isn't it? Like just having all the different types of foliage and trees compared to what we get back home, yeah. it's actually still very rugged. Such a good day that I forgot how small this thing was. <laughs> it's so peaceful. This looks like such an amazing way to thaw out after another cold night. <laughs> oh, this makes it worth it. Wow. 
This one only costs us about five pounds, so it's even cheaper than the last one that we went to, and it's easily equally as nice. Van life in Japan just feels like <laughs> a spa break. Our first stop of the day is Mount Umaru, and unlike Fuji right behind us, this is an extinct volcano. Yeah, it is, there's something kind of ominous about driving around the region. Everywhere you go, Mount Fuji is just looking down on you. <laughs> <laughs> and knowing that that volcano is still active is kind of terrifying yeah. and awe-inspiring at the same time. It's incredible, isn't it? This volcano looks especially interesting because it is covered in grass. It is a bright green volcano. We're at the top now and in the centre of the crater there's actually archery boards like all lined up in a row so I guess you could do an archery session inside of a volcanic crater which is pretty cool but the thing that's actually interesting me the most is the way the grass is moving up over here it's like it's pretty trippy it's like this little sea of I don't know it's moving in every direction it's really really cool It's only about a 30 minute walk around the whole of the crater. So it's definitely something manageable, especially for my pregnant lady who can't do as much anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> I have no idea what these are, but the process of making them looks so cool that we had to buy one. <laughs> they almost look like little pancakes with some kind of filling in. Is it I've... warm? It's very warm. Oh wow. Yeah, fresh. Pot luck. Pot luck, let's go. Mmm, it was really nice. It's like a super light fluffy green pancake. I don't know where the green comes from. And inside you've got the lovely hot bean paste. If that was chocolate, it'd be delicious. Oh yeah. Want a bit more? No. <laughs> What an incredible drive that was. To me, that had like our Malfi Coast vibes. But if you take out the cute Italian houses and replace them with cute Japanese houses instead. Yeah, it's like the Malfi Coast, but with a bit more of a jungle vibe. Yeah, yeah, very jungly, very green, very rugged. We've stopped at a beach along the way and it's not what we expected at all. It's no. white sand beach. The water looks lovely, apart from it's extremely <laughs> windy, extremely rough. Won't be swimming today. <laughs> so we stopped for lunch, we went to a convenience store, and there's just so many great foods to choose from. So, so we thought we were going to test out the microwave, the silly <laughs> microwave we have in here, and uh, have lunch with a nice view. Yep. So I have gone for some lovely little vegetable gyozas, and Alex has his noodle pot. <laughs> I can also see he's snuck in some chocolate. He always manages to do this when I'm not looking. I have to say, I'm quite a messy eater. I know. But well, not terrified. like baby messy, but like... I don't know! <laughs> me messy enough. I leave residue of where I've been. And, um, I leave residue of where I've been. <laughs> So eating some wet noodles in a confined space like this does worry me. I guess the reason we pay a deposit is for things like this. So I can eat however I, I like. I don't think that's the way you should look at it. I think that's what it is. It's a curry deposit. Curry stain deposit. A curry stain deposit. It has a few settings on here for pizza, coffee, popcorn. No curry noodle settings, annoyingly. <laughs> but, okay, well that's what it looks like inside. It's so diddy and small. It's so small. Does it even fit my food? Don't worry, I'll take off the negative. Um, oh, just, just. <laughs> wow, I think that'll squash it in. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> just like... <laughs> okay. In it goes. Well, it's working. Um, let's see in four and a half minutes how it is. Warm anywhere. <laughs> that finger going in. Well, how else would you test I don't it for temperature? Know. It's just very funny to watch. Mmm. 
Also, just so you guys know, all of the convenience stores here will actually just microwave the food for you, so you don't have to go through the faff of microwaving it yourself in a very weak microwave and it taking half an hour to cook. <laughs> I'm not going in there with a lukewarm bowl of noodles, <laughs> with my noodles between my legs saying, can you please warm this up for me? <laughs> with his noodles between his legs. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Eight. Eight times a charm. <laughs> Get us something some warmth this time. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, the I can't finger, just, the finger yeah, touch. Yeah, the finger tests. What? Too hot. I can set up my little table. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. It's not that way. Let's try that again. <laughs> yep. Nice. Huzzah! Hot. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take long. There is residue that I've been here already. Not impressed. <laughs> Not impressed at all. I know, it's like I know you after 10 years. <laughs> We spent a lot of the afternoon on the beach and we're about to go looking for our park up for the night but we stopped off at this sea cave that looked really cool on Google. It looked much better on Google than it did in person but upon closer inspection all the photos that you see online and even at the place are taken with a fisheye lens so it makes it look really cool and curved but then you look at the bottom and the ground's like that as well. Yeah definitely <laughs> not so good. Not what we were expecting, no. but it does have a chance to redeem itself because up these steps we're going now, we can see it from above. So hopefully it's actually <laughs> worth seeing. I think this is one of those rare occasions where I think it actually looks better on the camera than it does in real life, which usually is definitely the other way around. Yeah, that's true. So it kind of looks like a heart from above, which yeah. I guess is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of cool. I, I just think we've seen so much nice stuff. Yeah, we are definitely spoiled. So don't listen to us, you might love this. <laughs> we have less than an hour left until sunset, so we're currently on the hunt for somewhere to stay. I found a blog post where someone mentioned that they stayed in this area, so we're gonna go to there first and see if that's gonna be a nice spot for the night. I love this part of van life. When you set aside some time to actually find a spot, it's so enjoyable. Yeah. Compared to just like needing a spot at the last minute, it's yeah. not so much fun. So this one was a dud, yeah. I think. Possibly it was but. somewhere before to park, because there is toilets and they look like the pictures that I saw over there. But there is potential parking over here that looks just as good. Yeah, I, th I say we go over to that side. What do we think? Mm, Seems looks... like a nice place to stop. It does. I think we've got toilets over there, hopefully. Yeah, toilets, vending machines for hot drinks for when we're freezing cold. And then over here, have a look at this. <laughs> now that is our own private backyard beach. We've really lucked out with this spot. We started walking down the beach and an English guy who lives here with his Japanese wife came up to us and said, he's leaving his fire now. Would we like to have it? His kids then went and collected a load of firewood for us. So cute. <laughs> he's also recommended that there's somewhere to go and eat nearby, which is a taco shop. Which you wouldn't typically go for as we're in Japan. We would kind of write off anything like that. But if it comes recommended by somebody who's living in the area, I feel like we have to do it. It's also walking distance from the van. So the fact that we can go and eat and I don't have to microwave my meals, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do that.
Home sweet home. Home sweet home. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> <laughs> In some of her glory. <laughs> Oh, bags on the front. <laughs> Before we shut ourselves away in the camper van for the rest of the evening, because it's almost dark already. The long evening. <laughs> we thought we would go and get some food first. And the taco place that the guy on the beach recommended is just down there. So I think we're going to go there for dinner. Bed. Just on my side. You're the worst. I forgot we were by the beach. I hadn't. <laughs> it's 6 pm, so that's us for another night. <laughs> Good night. Beans and cheese out there. <laughs> oh my goodness. You want that in the bed? I really don't. Um. What do you even do with them? Huh. Uh. Okay, give me a minute. You look like a bag. Last night was not the best as it was extremely windy and rainy for the whole night. Oh uh, yeah, nighttime weeds were a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the most pleasant experience running to the toilet vlog and back in the pissing rain. <laughs> Despite the sleep deprivation, we are in great spirits this morning. <laughs> We're enjoying having our coffees and our teas, watching the surfers from our van yeah. it, whilst remaining dry. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of, there's something kind of satisfying about watching people do like crazy exercise on the beach and they must be absolutely freezing out there. It makes you kind of be like, oh, actually I'm quite cozy and warm in yeah. here. This is nice. <laughs> yeah, We're feeling very grateful for our little tiny home at the yeah. moment. Overall, van life in Japan has been very different to what we actually expected it to be like, but it's been really easy. I think it's been the easiest van life experience that we've had, despite the van not necessarily being the <laughs> easiest experience we've had, but yeah. that is our own fault yeah. for choosing comedy <laughs> over practicality yeah. and we won't be making that mistake again in the future definitely not especially as there's a bunch of different van options that you actually can get if you're flying into tokyo so just don't go for this one and you'll have a more pleasant experience <laughs> i'm sure but the actual van life experience of the road tripping yeah. places to stay being able to shower use bathrooms yeah, there's toilets, toilets everywhere. everywhere like the whole thing has been seamless yeah and nobody's even given us a second glance you know parking up in what is very clearly a camper van with the awning on the side and when we open up and there's the bed in here and everything nobody's been even looking i feel like when you're doing this at home people always look you get a few starey mm -hmm. eyes don't you yeah. like, oh what are they up to but no one seems to care here which is also really nice and quite relaxing compared to the UK and the US, this is kind of like a cheap option for a spa break. Yeah. Because the onsens are so cheap and accessible, they're extremely relaxing. And I think not only is it a spa break, but it's like a spa break with the sightseeing thrown in because you're yeah. always on the move and going to a different place, which is really nice. Because I think that's the thing about a spa break that would bore me, yeah. is just staying in one place and doing that all day, every day. I'd want to do something else a bit more exciting. So this is a really nice way to marry the two. There's a lot of great healthy food options around, lots of good convenience. So all in all, I am very impressed with Japanese van life. There will be one more video of our time here in Japan, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified of when it is ready. This rogue thumb is also for likes as well, so <laughs> if you can do all three of those, you've completed your homework for the day. And nothing left to say, we'll see you next time, and beans out! Oh, so energetic. I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.